Welcome to Kids Worship at Christ Presbyterian Church. Today is the seventh Sunday of Easter. We are so glad you could join us this week. Let's prepare for worship with our opening words that we have been using during our worship time together. I'll read a piece and you can respond with the words, Christ is risen indeed. You'll know it's time to respond when you see the words to say on the screen. Jesus Christ was dead, but now he lives forever and ever. Because Jesus lives, we also live abundantly and eternally. Come, Lord Jesus, and guide our lives. We rejoice that Jesus Christ has risen. This candle is lit to remind us that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Let's join Mark for the music piece for this week. Hi. Today, your Bible lesson talks about the disciples, the people who follow Jesus, having to pick, they had to pick a new disciple. And I kind of like this story because they picked somebody with my name, my last name. They ended up picking a man named Matthias. And that's my last name. Sometimes he pronounce it Matthias, but I pronounce it Matthias. So anyways, what is a disciple? Well, those disciples, the disciples we think about in the church, are people who follow Jesus. But it's just not people who follow Jesus and learn about him, but people who do imitate Jesus, do what Jesus do. There used to be a saying, what would Jesus do? You even had people who wore bracelets. It says, WWJD. What would Jesus do? So this song is about helping us to be disciples. I'll say it. And this song, last couple of weeks we've done songs from uh, Ghana and Africa, and the last week in uh, South Carolina. Well, this one's right from Toledo, Ohio. I'll say it. You say it back to me. Help me to be a disciple, Jesus. Help me to be a disciple, Jesus. Help me to always follow you. Help me to always follow you. Help me to be a disciple, Jesus. Help me to be a disciple, Jesus. Help me to do what you would do. Help me to do what you would do. Okay? So I'll sing it, part of it, and then you sing it back to me. Help me to be a disciple, Jesus. Your turn. Say them with me. Help me to be a disciple, Jesus. Help me to always follow you. Help me to be a disciple, Jesus. Help me to do what you would do. Okay? Now you sing it with me. Okay? Disciple Jesus, help me 
And that song was written right here in Toledo, Ohio, just for you. So you remember that God is always with you, and Jesus, and He hears you, and He wants you to be God's disciple. Okay, we'll see you. Goodbye. This week, our lesson comes again from the book of Acts. In the New Testament, chapter 1, verses 15 through 17, and 21 through 26. You can look this passage up in a Bible at home and read it on your own or ask someone to read it to you. The book of Acts is the first book found after the four Gospels in the New Testament. It tells the history of the early Christian church. The disciples of Jesus undergo a title change and a job change in this chapter. No longer will they be called disciples, which means learners or students of Jesus, but rather they will become known as apostles, which means followers of Jesus, who witness and tell others of Jesus' love, teachings, and death and resurrection. In the book of Acts, we read about the death of Judas, the disciple who handed Jesus over to the authorities. This left only 11 of the original 12 disciples. The would-be apostles decided to replace Judas with another follower of Jesus. Who would qualify? We have a special interview for you this week to share our lesson. Let's take a look. Good morning, faithful servants. I'm J.B. Lee. We are here coming to you live from Jerusalem, where the disciples have gathered to wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit. As you know, Judas is no longer with them, so another apostle needs to be selected. I'm here with Peter to get his take on what will happen next. Peter? Well, as you mentioned, we need another apostle. This must be someone who was with Jesus the whole time he lived among them. This must have been this one must have been there from the time Jesus was baptized until this very day. This one must have been seen Jesus, have seen Jesus when he appeared to us after his resurrection. Who fits all those things? Justice? Matthias? Well, folks, there you have it. How will they decide between those two good and faithful men? Matthew, can you give us some insight? First, let's pray about it. God, you know everything that we think. Show us which man is to join the, this ministry given to us by Jesus. Amen. Amen. It looks like the lots are being cast. The vote is in and we have a new apostle, Matthias. <sighs> Yay. There are 12 mm. again. That's a wrap. Wow, that interview was so informative. Picking a replacement apostle was too important of a decision to leave to their own whims. The apostles knew they needed to pray to God about such a decision. They had faith that God would provide the guidance they needed, even as they cast lots to see which man it would be. Talking to God can help us. Asking for God's guidance is always a valuable step in decision making. A very important piece of this story is the reality that Matthias was not the very was not a very important person. He's never mentioned before this text and yet he was the one God helps the apostles pick. God can make use of anyone. Each one of us is called to be on God's team. God calls each of us by name and each and every child of God should be able to confidently say, I am on Team Jesus. I am the right one for the job. Jesus will make it so. 
Thinking about this story has left me with some questions that you might be thinking too. I wonder why it was important to replace Judas. What does casting lots mean? How do you think Justice felt when he wasn't chosen? You can discuss or journal your ideas to these questions. You can also find an activity for this week's lesson on our website, cpctoledo.org, when you click on Worship and then Kids Worship. Let's close our time together this week with a prayer. Dear God, sometimes it can be hard to make big decisions. We think about all that might go wrong. We worry about making the wrong choice. We carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. Help us to be like the apostles who prayed for guidance. Help us trust in all we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed week.